When it comes to creating your own link tree or campfire on your WordPress website, once you have implemented Elementor on a actual page, not a post, um, what you're going to do is you're going to click the elements um, and you're going to hover over to a heading and insert a heading. I'm just going to title this Instagram link tutorial. And you can either use this plus sign to add a new widget. You can change the sizing of everything um, based on whatever the styling is on your blog or website. Um, and then what you're going to do is this top um, little 3x3 three three in the right hand corner, you're going to click it back and it's going to get you back to that main page. And you're going to select button and drag it over. Like I said, you can click the plus sign to drag a widget. Um, and then on the left hand side is where you are going to modify your link. So um, this is the text and whatever URL you want it to go to, you can implement here. And then to get the link to fill this entire area, what you're going to do is you're going to um, go to the alignment and click the justified so that it hovers over everything. If you don't want the link to be the full width of your device or the device that your user is on, you're going to click center um, and you can adjust the size of the button as well. Um, I have medium or large, I believe. Um, and then under the styling, you can select the different colors that you want the text to be or the background color and you can change things over here. Once you have that, all you're going to do is click the uh, your right, the right side of your mouse, and you click duplicate to create new ones. To edit them, you just click this little um, edit button on the right, and then if you want to add additional things, you can add that here. Um, this is just one way you can do it. It's really easy, um, and all you have to do to go into next ones is just update everything like that. So hopefully this helps you um, create your own link tree that's on your WordPress website. Um, if you need any help, please leave a comment below or feel free to email me. Um, and the rest of the tutorial will be within this blog post on how to add Elementor, how to start this to get to this page, um, and what it looks like on different devices. And you can also see that on the bottom in the responsive mode, you can see what it looks like on a tablet and what it looks like on a mobile device. On my mobile device, I've actually removed everything from the bottom down, um, which is really easy to do. You can either do that in your settings for this page or when you're actually on the editor for this page um, within WordPress, you can turn off those settings. Um, that's it.